Hi, I'm John Siddick from Drexel University. And the title of my work is Multi-Voltage Single Clock Domain Clock Mesh Design and Automation. In this work, I will show our motivation first, present the proposed methodology, and then I will show you a small demonstration on the Synopsys IC compiler environment. Finally, I will present the experimental results. Design and automation of clock distribution networks are hot research topics due to their significant effect on the power consumption along with the circuit timing. Especially for sub-100 nanometer designs, the contribution of clock distribution networks on the total power consumption of the circuit has increased. It is known that 30% of the power is consumed by the clock distribution networks and 40% of the power is consumed by the clock sinks. Thus, Clock distribution networks have the most significant effect on the power consumption in a typical high-performance architecture. Clock mesh structures are widely used in high-performance microprocessor design due to their low skew and higher tolerance against the process variations. Intel's most recent i7, i5, i3 family is a good example. It exploits a grid-like structure by combining horizontal and vertical wire spines to create a custom clock mesh. On a typical clock mesh structure, the clock signal is distributed from a single clock source to the register sinks through a wire redundancy placed on top of the entire circuit area. These wires are called the mesh wires and the tiny wires that connect each register sink in the design to the mesh wires are called the stub wires. The purpose here is to electrically short circuit each register sink to each other for low skew and variation tolerance. This clock mesh structure with register sinks is driven at multiple points by a set of buffers called pre-mesh drivers. The clock signal is distributed from the clock source to each pre-mesh driver through a tree-like structure called the pre-mesh tree. To motivate the problem, I'd like to discuss why we need multi-voltage domain clock meshes. Assume we have a design with two voltage domains, as shown in this picture, and would like to design a clock distribution network for it. The motivation for this work is to preserve the desired properties of the typical single voltage domain clock meshes which are low skew and variation tolerance and to obtain power savings through the voltage scaling of multi-voltage designs. Furthermore, multi-voltage clock meshes must target tighter skew budgets compared to the multi-voltage clock trees with an acceptable increase in the power consumption as in the case of typical single voltage domain designs. The proposed topology for a design with two voltage domains is shown on the bottom left. This topology has disjoint clock meshes, pre-mesh drivers and pre-mesh trees for each voltage domain and the clock nets are connected and synchronized at the top level through level shifters. With the proposed methodology, this topology is shown to be effective to satisfy the desired properties stated in the motivations. The proposed methodology has three main steps, which are mesh size selection, pre-mesh driver sizing and pre-mesh tree synthesis. In the first step, the size of the clock mesh is increased by steps at each voltage domain one at a time until a user-specified skew value is satisfied within each voltage domain. In the second step, the sizes of the pre-mesh buffers are increased at each voltage domain starting from minimum size buffers until the user-specified slew constraint is satisfied. The novelty of this flow is at the pre-mesh tree synthesis step. Unlike single voltage meshes, multi-voltage mesh has disjoint pre-mesh trees at each voltage domain. Thus, the pre-mesh trees must be built not only for power optimization, but also for skew minimization. For that purpose, the pre-mesh tree at each voltage domain must be considered simultaneously in order to minimize the overall skew. In this step, keeping the pre-mesh drivers at the final level and the clock mesh underneath the same, buffer addition and sizing are performed to minimize the overall skew. Let's say we have four voltage domains indicated by four different colors and the clock meshes that these pre-mesh trees connect to are not shown here as they are unchanged. In the first step, level shifter cells are placed at the necessary locations and the insertion delay at each voltage domain is measured. Depending on the difference in the insertion delay of each voltage domain compared to the maximum insertion delay, minimum size buffers are inserted until the difference in the insertion delays lie in a close vicinity and the routing of these new buffer cells are performed. Note that after this stage, the voltage domain with the maximum insertion delay may change. In the final stage, keeping the topology the same, 
in place buffer sizing is performed in order to minimize the overall skew. At each voltage domain other than the domain with the maximum insertion delay, necessary buffers are upsized to create a small increment in their insertion delay to match it with the maximum insertion delay in order to have a small overall skew. Now, let me show a quick demonstration of this flow within the IC compiler environment. Here, we have a floor plant design within the IC compiler platform. With the placement script I have, now I will perform the placement of our benchmark circuits into two voltage domains. Then I am fast forwarding the part where the code is running to speed up my demonstration. As you can see, the placement is performed. Let me zoom into that. The voltage domains are indicated with different colors here. After this step, now I am performing the mesh wire placement with another script. As you can see, 10 by 10 meshes are placed at each voltage domain disjointly. The pre-mesh driver selection and the pre-mesh tree synthesis are performed in the next step by running another script. Again, I perform an X8 fast forward here to speed up the time we wait while the script is running. As our mesh size is 10 by 10, 100 buffers are placed at each intersection which are visible with yellow and red colors at each voltage domain. Now, let me take a look at the rest of our pre-mesh trees by highlighting the buffers on them. Here, we see two buffers for the purple domain colored with blue and we see four buffers for the green domain colored with yellow. With the proposed methodology, we implemented a multi-voltage domain clock mesh with two voltage domains and integrated it into IC compiler design environment. Let's take a look at the experimental results. In order to integrate this new methodology into IC compiler, necessary modifications must be performed on the traditional design flow. The effect of these modifications on the timing slack is compared against the traditional flow results. At different area utilizations from 50% to 80% with 10% increments, it is shown that the timing slack does not degrade more than 10 picosecond. Thus, it is feasible to implement this methodology within IC compiler tools. The proposed methodology is compared against the same two voltage domain clock mesh structure with the optimization performed by IC compiler. In this chart, it is observed that IC compiler tool considers each voltage domain one at a time for power minimization without considering the insertion delay at multiple domains. Thus, it results in a high skew well above the typical clock skew budgets at 2, 5 and 10% of the clock period. On the other hand, proposed flow can satisfy all the skew value of 10 picosecond. As for the power consumption, the proposed flow consumes 8.5% more power compared to IC compiler's optimization as it does not only consider power but also skew minimization. In order to show the effectiveness of the proposed multi-voltage domain clock mesh topology, the skew and the power consumption is compared against the typical single voltage domain clock mesh and the clock tree with two voltage domains, both synthesized by IC compiler. First, we compare the skew and the power consumption against a typical single voltage clock mesh. Our motivation is to implement the clock mesh for multiple voltage domains by targeting the same low skew budget as the single voltage clock mesh and obtain power savings through multi-voltage design. In this chart, we see that proposed methodology can satisfy the same tight skew budget at 2% of the clock period as a single voltage mesh. And we also see that the proposed methodology can achieve 37% less power consumption by exploiting the multi-voltage topology. Secondly, we compare the clock tree and the clock mesh performance assuming a design that is already partitioned into two voltage domains at the floor planning stage. In the first chart, we observed that the multi-voltage clock tree synthesized by IC compiler cannot satisfy tight skew bounds at 2% of the clock period, whereas the proposed methodology can satisfy it at 10 picosecond. For the power consumption, we expect to have a 30 to 35% increase switching from a clock tree to a clock mesh topology for single voltage designs. For our case, we observed that the increase in the power consumption is roughly 21%. It is less than the expected value Therefore, it is acceptable for high-performance designs. 